All right, folks, just in case you're wondering why I have all these people staring at me at this table, and they're all hoping I'm not going to ask them any questions at all, the real reason is, and you saw me open up with the Emperor sign, and the reason is we're celebrating 50 years here in Fairlawn. Nick, Marge, I'm, Nick, I'm going to start with you. Your feelings, because I know this was from 1965, right, when you first started? Right. What made you open up a restaurant? What made you get into doing it? Because I was in it and did restaurant business. You were in the restaurant business before 90s, before you started here? Yes. What did you do? Where? What was that about? It came with Patterson. Patterson? Yep. And this was available, because this is a great spot right here on the corner. Yes. And, and, and it was a good idea. You thought it was good, right? That's why we moved from Patterson to here. Now, you did some stuff in the back when you first got here. Well, what was your job? What did you do? Did you go, did you flip pancakes? What did you do? Right. It was sort of the cook. It was you did, you did a bunch of things, right? And stuff like this, yes. Don't anybody go away. A little help. Now, you were a part of that opening situation, weren't yes, you? Yes, I was. Tell everybody your name. What's your name? My name is Claire Valissis. And you were telling me that it was the actual July 4th weekend it's in actually, 1965. That's incredible. What was it like years. back then? What was it like back then? What was it like? Yeah. It was very exciting because fair long, this was a whole new thing. It was an old diner here originally. Replaced it with this new diner. And... Um, the people in Fairlawn were excited. So and we probably, had, let's see, gas was about 20 cents a gallon and a full meal was about buck fifty. About that. Something I like think, that? Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. So the Fairlawn people were very excited and the people were waiting in lines and we yeah, were taking about their that. names. Right. And, 24 hours a day. Uh, right? 24 hours a day. Well, it was 24 hours a day, hours a day back then as well. Yes. yes so yes, you used yes. to sleep in the back corner in between <laughs> shifts <laughs> a lot of times, right? The line was outside the, the line door. was outside the door. Outside oh, the door. yeah. Yep, yep. Question now, did you have an idea that something like this was going to develop and, and grow as much as it did? No. No? No. So you no. weren't that optimistic at the beginning, right? No. Well, you know, we came from Patterson and we just had a small business. All of a sudden, this was, you know. This was it. This was it, you know. That's very exciting. And different clientele, so the whole thing was a whole new whole new face for us. Now, John, don't you go away. I'm going to get back to you in a second because we still have another person to check. I know, Marge, that you do a lot of things here, too. Your feelings about having it be 50 years. What's your thoughts about that? Overwhelming, exciting. Um, very proud of both of them. They were very hard to get to the spot today. But I see you getting involved, too. I mean, when we talk about a family, there are things that you, you get involved with, too. How, does that make you, like, get psyched about the whole thing? Of course. You do, Yeah, right? I'm part of it. So is it true when I go back in the kitchen, I can see you flipping some uh, no, that I don't do. <laughs> Somebody here is going to cook for me. You do the cooking, don't you? But you're the third, fourth generation. Don't you go away. And, 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 and don't you go away either. John, it's your turn to talk to me. How are you, sir? Good. good, good. you got to be excited about this. Proud. Very proud. I'm very proud. Yeah. It's a long time coming. It's a lot of work. Now, I understand probably when all this started, you were probably right at the bottom of the help. What, doing tables? I mean, stuff it like started, that? started, right? I wasn't here. <laughs> That's another show. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to that. You were thinking about it. I, start, I started at 12 or 13 right. as a busboy. Right. The no. worst. The worst busboy. But by doing that, you got, you got through all the levels of the rung of the ladder, Absolutely. so to speak. Right? You got to move up. And how did you feel by spending all that time here? I was I always wanted to do it. I uh, was always, you always here. Did, you had I that was in your head? I wanted to work with my father. I was always yeah. here. And, uh, Every, every time I wandered off, I always ended up back. Somehow, <laughs> somehow we always came back. I'm not going to ask you if that was a choice or not. I'm just going to accept that. Yes. <laughs> but I, I do want to say this, that from time to time that I've had the opportunity of having you actually prepare some culinary delights for me. And from time to time, do you still go in the back and in the kitchen area and do that from time to time? Yeah, I assist or supervise sometimes. You get involved with that a little bit? When it has to happen, sure. Sure, okay. sure. I thought you go away because I also see that you help out a little bit too. What's your name? Katrina. Now... Are you at all thinking about having this in your future a little bit? You don't no, have to. You can, I, you can say whatever you want. They're not going to bother you. They're on the other side <laughs> of the door. They can't reach out and hit you. Um, Maybe. I don't, 
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But you like doing. You like being here. So I see you here. You're always happy and smiling. Yeah, I do. Really? I do. I think and so. tell them what you do when you're here. Do, yeah, what do you do when you're um, here? I do cash, and um, I give up. I do tables. So you help out a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I think that's a good thing because there's other people that help out with this family, and that's you. Tell me what your first name. Ariana. Now, when you help out, do you feel like you're really part of the whole thing? Because I've seen you do a lot of things here. <laughs> yeah. Now we can talk about some of the things that you do here. Not all of them, but you know, but some of them. But do you feel somewhere in the back of your head this might be a little bit part of your future? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But at least you'll come back and eat, right? <laughs> That's a good idea. John, we're celebrating 50 years. We've got a couple of special days going on. What do, you, what do you got planned? We have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're doing uh, free cheesecake with any meal, 1095 or above, and $2 glasses of wine. And the cheesecake is the same recipe from 1965. Now, wait a minute. Everybody How's that possible? How's that possible? The cheesecake. The cheesecake. Did you make the it's cheesecake? Not no, I did not make the cheese. Okay, where'd the recipe come from? <laughs> Do you know how it got started? Where'd the recipe come from? From the original baker. Yeah, you. You were the one. Fantastic, fantastic. So if I ask you to like come to a private party for him, you'll just make some cheesecake right there? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Practice that. I want you to visit. This cheesecake is fantastic. All right, what else you got going on? You got three days with the July 4th weekend. You have a clown coming by somewhere? Sunday morning, Sunday between morning, 9 clown? and 12, there's going to be a clown here. Absolutely. Okay. We're gonna have Juggles the Clown. Maybe a couple of chicken wings are gonna be thrown around. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Some balloons. I think what's very unique about this, and I don't mind saying this, having a family, being involved with the business here in our community for 50 years, third, fourth, fifth generation, is one of the best stories I really want to get involved in. And a tip of my hat to all of you for being involved with this. I always love coming here. It's my second home. Enjoy. I want to come back and <clears throat> another 50. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you all for just sharing some thoughts with me. And we're going to let everybody know that you come by and celebrate with you too. Now, what I usually say at the end is uh, get back to work. Let me thank, you know, go out and do something. Andy, give me a wave. Okay, he's busy. <laughs> I'm just going to fade out on that. One little sign there, John. You just give me a shot to the that side over there. And folks, this is where we started. And that's where we ended.